Hey everyone, it's Rachel and welcome to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking with you guys about my postpartum care kit. This is something I found that a lot of women say is super helpful to have. Just a little kit of things to help you recover faster, make you feel a little bit more comfortable because the first little while after giving birth you don't feel so great. That's what I've heard of course. I have not had my baby yet. I have no idea how it's going to feel but I know I'm probably not gonna be feeling the best. So I went online and did some research. There are a lot of different things you can do to help you feel more comfortable and to make your recovery faster and a little bit easier. So I went and found the things I think I would find most helpful and that would make my recovery the easiest without also breaking the bank. There are a lot of options that can be pretty pricey. I am planning to go for a vaginal delivery, so of course the items I've picked will reflect that. If you're going for a C-section, the items you pick will probably be different. But anyways, this is what I have in my postpartum care kit. Let's go ahead and get started. So I do not have that many items in my care kit. Just a couple little things that I think will make my life easier. Some of them I had already, some of them I had to go and get, but anyways. So the first thing, of course, is pads and the huge ones. I think these are the always maxi overnight pads, something like that, because I know the first couple days you bleed a lot. So you want to have some thick protection down there just so that your underwear and your clothes don't get all gross and you don't end up leaking through. So I went and got a bunch of these. I know the hospital will provide me some for while I'm there. And I'll see if I can grab some to take home with me, but I did buy a bunch of these because I know these are going to be necessary for while I am recovering, especially for the first few days. The next thing is something I already had and it is just these large pair of underwear. I have a couple of these. Some of these are in my hospital bag. If you watch my video on what I put in my hospital bag, you'll have seen these. I'm bringing some of them with me to the hospital for just in case. I know while I'm there, the hospital will probably provide me with those lovely mesh underwear that everyone's always talking about. And if I can, I'm gonna see if I can bring some of those home with me. But if not, I know I have these. And these are nice just because they're high-waisted. I usually wear these when I'm on my period just because it's a little bit more comfortable than the lower bikini underwear. I don't know exactly what you call them. But anyways, these will be nice for recovering postpartum, make me feel a little bit more comfortable. Having higher underwear is especially nice if you've had a C-section because all of those lower underwear are probably gonna sit right where your incision is. Even though I'm not planning to have a C-section, I am going to be using these anyway, just to make me feel a little bit more comfortable. Another item I got for my postpartum care kit is these water wipes. I know I have a bunch of packs of baby wipes lying around, but these are nice because they're pretty much just water. And I've heard that for the first little while while you're recovering postpartum, using toilet paper is not really that comfortable just because it's dry. It can irritate you down there a little bit. So I've heard having some wipes is really nice and I heard that water wipes were great. I was originally planning to get these from Amazon and then I could not find them. Then I happened to be walking around our grocery store looking for some baby items and I found these. So I was super happy about that. I got two packs of them. I know this will probably be really nice for just using when I go to the bathroom after our baby is born while I'm still recovering down there. And another item I will be using but do not yet have because I am planning to get it from the hospital and that is just a peri bottle. It's just a bottle that you fill with just tepid water and you just spray it while you're peeing. Peeing can sometimes sting especially if you've had tearing. It can just be really uncomfortable from what I've heard. So using a peri bottle it just helps avoid all the stinging it cleans you up a little bit down there because you don't want to go in with a lot of toilet paper and stuff because you're going to be sore and irritated. The Perry bottle just helps clean you up, make you feel fresh. That is something I'm planning to use but I do not yet have. I know some people say that the ones the hospital give you are not that great but I'm going to try it out and see if I do need to replace it. I will go buy another one because that's kind of something that I'm going to need to have. But if it works, then great. And the last thing I'm in my postpartum care kit is just this mama spray. Again, if you watched my what's in my hospital bag video, you would have seen me talk about this. So I actually DIY'd and it's just witch hazel diluted with water and then some lavender and frankincense essential oils. 
This is something I heard a lot about, getting a perennial spray just for after you use the bathroom, or you can spray it directly onto your pad and it just helps with itching and inflammation and irritation and just helps you heal a little bit faster. So I wanted to have some of this. The brand of the Bilia oil I use, Earth Mama, I know they had one, but I could not find it anywhere. And I heard some not so good reviews about it on Amazon, just some weird stuff. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to risk buying it on Amazon, though a lot of people said they loved it and it was great. So I, I didn't want to be that one person that got the bad one. So I went and made mine and it was actually cheaper. So I know this will be really nice for using just to help me recover and heal a little bit better. I know it's especially great if you have stitches. So if you've torn during your delivery, then this helps really just heal it up a lot faster. I'm hoping not to tear, but I know anyways, this will be something that's really nice to have. So that is everything for my postpartum care kit. It is not a very big kit. It's small and some of those pieces like the pads and the underwear, that's just necessary. You kind of have to have that kind of stuff. I didn't feel the need to go out and get this big basket full of all this stuff, but I wanted to have a couple items just to make me a little bit more comfortable, things that I knew would probably work best for me and that I would enjoy using and make me feel a bit better. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow along with my pregnancy for the next few weeks or see more videos like this one then be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!